Next, we're gonna work on number three from the worksheet, more rates and ratios. So it's the same thing. Um, you can approach a story problem from many different ways. I might solve it one way, maybe you think of it a different way in your head. As long as you get the same final result, it's correct. Okay, so Barbara can swim at a constant speed of five over three meters per second. So remember, five was referring to meters, three was referring to seconds. Okay, sometimes when you're taking the M step, they're gonna be set up this way. And they don't mean five thirds of a meter for every second, okay? It means five meters every three seconds. What is the ratio of the number of meters to number of seconds? So I'm gonna underline meters to seconds. So this is going back to 8.1, our ratios. They wanna know meters to seconds, okay? Well, we know that meters is five and seconds is three. So we would write five to three. Okay, I remember you can write that as five dot dot three, five two three, or you could even leave it as a fraction, five over three. Another thing to remember is that there are many equivalent ratios. If she is swimming five meters in three seconds, that means she's swimming 10 meters in six seconds. Okay, 100 meters in 60 seconds. There's lots of equivalent ratios. Okay, moving on to part B. So that's your answer for A. Barbara is trying to qualify for the national swim meet. To qualify, she must complete 100 meters in 55 seconds. 100 meters in 55 seconds. Will Barbara qualify? Why or why not? Well, let's think back to those equivalent ratios. We didn't really do problems like this in class. We did do where we could find how far she's getting in one second, okay? So we could have taken 100 and divided it by 55 and seen what we came up with. And in the same way, five divided by three and see which one, if that was a faster speed than that. And if it wasn't, then she wouldn't qualify. But another way to think about it is we can look at equivalent ratios. Okay, so it's a 100 meter race in 55 seconds. We know that she goes five meters every three seconds, okay? So let's see how long it will take her to get to 100 meters, okay? One hundred meters. So five times what is one hundred? Well, I would say five times twenty would be our scale factor factor times twenty. Okay? So then we would know to need to do three times twenty. And you would figure out that three times twenty is sixty. Okay. So hundred meters would take her sixty seconds. Okay, we know that this is meters over seconds. Sorry about the horrible handwriting. I'm running, writing at a funny angle here. Okay, 100 meters in 60 seconds. Well, it says to qualify, she must race 100 meters in 55 seconds. So your answer would be no, she didn't qualify because she was five seconds too slow. Okay, so you should write no and then something along the time, along the lines of she was five seconds too slow or just even showing your work right here, okay? Remember, lots of different ways to approach that though. Barbara is also attempting to qualify for the same meet in a 200 meter event. To qualify, Barbara would have to complete the race in 130 seconds. Will Barbara be able to qualify for the race? Why or why not? Okay, so we can do the same sort of thing here. We know that it takes her 100, or. 100 meters in 60 seconds. So we've got 100 over 60. Okay, that's our meters over seconds. Okay, 100 meters in 60 seconds. So how would we get to, let's see, 200 meters? Okay, well that's times two. Okay, so 60 times two is 120. So we're saying it takes her 120 seconds to swim 200 meters. She would need to qualify by swimming it in 130 seconds. Well, 120 seconds is faster. So yes, she'd qualify for that. 
So she can qualify for the 200 meter event, she just doesn't qualify for the 100 meter event. And that is all you need for those two problems. Another quick hint for the back side, okay, when you flip to the back, when you're dealing with the apples, remember when you're dealing with money, if you don't have enough money to get the next apple, you don't round up. Okay, when you're dealing with money, if you don't have enough money, you round down. Okay, just a little hint for your apple problem.